Welcome to this Google Analytics 4 setup, GA4 tutorial. We'll learn what is Google Analytics 4 and how to set up Google Analytics 4 and install Google Analytics 4 fast. So stay tuned because what you're about to see next is going to go by pretty quick, but yet be thorough. So let's dive right into this GA4 tutorial and get on with installing Google Analytics 4. Let's get right to it. But before I do, can you do something for me? Rather for you? And that is comment down below with the words, I got this to create that winner's mindset and to affirm that you can do this because I know you can and I'm going to help you. So I already have Google Analytics welcome screen set up here already downloaded, established, logged in. You just want to make sure that you're actually logged into the correct account by tapping on the icon there on the top right for your Google account that you want to use Google Analytics for. And if you want to find out actually how you actually get here, let me show you. Let's just type in Google Analytics. After typing in Google Analytics, you'll be taken to this and just click on that first link. I'll close out the previous one. And here we are. Welcome to Google Analytics. Google Analytics 4. Well, it's a free service. It's a free service for you to use for free, thanks to Google. Thank you, Google. Oops, I activated my Google on my phone. <laughs> All right, now it's gonna allow you to set up your analytics right on your website. So you actually get to see where your website traffic is coming from, what they're doing on your site, how long they're on there for, and so on and so on. So meet the next generation of Google Analytics. Google Analytics 4, formerly known as App Plus Web, is a new kind of property with different reports than what you're used to seeing in Universal Analytics properties, which is the original version of it. One advantage of a Google Analytics 4 property is that you can use it for a website, an app, or both a website and app together. Whereas before, Universal Analytics properties could only support websites. And now we're going to get into it next. I'll close this out. And here we are. We're going to go ahead and dive right into setting up Google Analytics for our website. And here we go. I'm going to tap on start measuring. And here we want to enter a new account name. And then we're going to go ahead and select what we're going to be using here. And in this case, I'm just going to check off this and leave those three checked off as well. But please note, if you enable Google Signals, which is this first part right up here, this setting will also apply to authenticated vis visitation data, which is associated with Google user accounts. This setting is required for enhanced demographics and interests reporting. If you disable this option, data can still flow to other Google products explicitly linked to your property. And then what you want to do to make sure that you're compliant is here's a tip. You ready? You want to make sure that your privacy policy actually indicates that you're using Google Analytics and for what? So make sure your privacy policy includes all those details. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a legal advisor of any kind. This is just my own experience using Google Analytics. So let's continue. Let's tap on next. And here will be the property name. In this case, I'm going to call it the website name, and that is this. And the reporting time zone, I'm going to adjust that to reflect where I am currently, and that's there. Now, if we tapped on show advanced options, you could actually set up your universal analytics property just by enabling that tab and filling out that other information right down here below just in case you'd like to have it because some apps do still use that and you can have both Google Analytics 4 and a Universal Analytics property set up at the same time or just set up a Universal Analytics property only. But in this case, for this Google Analytics 4 setup, I'm just going to leave that disabled and tap on Next. Business information, industry category. For this tutorial, I'm just going to tap on business and industrial. And I'm going to select that. You, however, will want to select what applies to you. And because I'm curious, 
I'm going to select all these or at least most of them and then create. Now here we're going to be asked to accept the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement along with the other legal agreements here. You want to read through them. Again, I'm not a lawyer or legal advisor of any kind, but it's my experience using Google Analytics 4 that you just need to read all this and accept like I'm going to do here in order to be able to use Google Analytics for properties. Now, they're asking us for our email communications preferences. We could leave it all checked or have some checked and some not, or just have them all unchecked. But you choose what you'd like to do. All right, so what we basically just did is we set up Google Analytics 4. How do we proceed? It says next step, set up a data stream to start collecting data. After creating a data stream, you'll get a tagging information and a measurement ID for web streams. So here I'm going to tap on web under choose a platform. And here we're going to go ahead and type in the domain. In my case, it's this. And I'm just going to name it the same so that I could easily spot what it is that I have created. That will leave that enabled. And let's just tap on this settings wheel here and leave all that enabled. But feel free to disable one or more or just leave it as is and make sure to press save. Now create stream. The measurement ID. Here is the measurement ID you need to add to your analytics tag configuration. So on and so forth. I'll X out of that. And now we're going to go ahead and set up our Google Analytics property tracking ID so that it could communicate from our website data back to and back and forth with Google Analytics 4. And I'm going to do so by using global site tag. It says use this if you're using a website builder or a CMS hosted site. Add the analytics tag to your website to begin seeing data in your property. And before I do that, as you can see right down here, it says connected site tags zero. So I'm just going to copy that. And the instructions here clearly states, copy the global site tag into the head section of your HTML. Or if you use a website builder, for example, WordPress, copy the global site tag into your website builder's custom HTML field. Now we're going to go ahead and finish to complete the install Google Analytics for setup for this tutorial. And I'm going to do it using using this Groove Pages website template that's already pre-built for me for demonstration purposes and for me to customize as I wish. And I'm using this to show you what's possible. Just in a quick snapshot, just in case you're interested in checking out what Groove can do for you and your business, not just with Groove Pages, but with Groove Member, Groove Video, Groove Mail, Groove Webinar, Groove Blog, and so much more. And you know what? Guess what? It's all for free. So I want you to go ahead and check out and grab your free account today at GroovePages.io because you never know when you're going to need a new account for free for that next project. So let's go ahead and continue with this Google Analytics 4 setup. And look how easy it is. I'm just going to tap on Settings and then Site Settings. Scroll down here where it says Include in the Head section here. Type of codes are tracking GA, which is for Google Analytics. And here I'm just going to paste in what I copied previously. Space, backspace to make sure it grabs it, and then click on this check mark here and wait for the get the confirmation down below saying it's been saved where it says content saved right there. And now I'm not done yet. Just need to go ahead and publish this to the web so that it actually gets updated everywhere. And we have site publish in progress. Usually goes live within a few minutes, but may take longer. And last but not least, what I want to do is go ahead and visit the page so I could actually trigger that, that Google Analytics property tracking ID that we just installed GA4 for. You know what I mean? All right. So I'm visiting it and here we are and just take another look at just a very simple but beautiful template, literally highly customizable. Swap out the images, the text, the fonts, the buttons, make it a one pager, so on and so forth. Just so much you could do and they're so speedy and lightning fast to load. And now let's go back into this. And this still says zero. Well, we may need to refresh, but let me get out of here and X out of here. And now 
just refresh and see what we see here with no data received. So we have that, still say no data received, but let's go over to reporting, reports rather, click on real time, and let's go ahead and wait to make sure that it is actually configured properly. And once it is, you'll see a one appear here. And do note, this can take up to 30 minutes to work. I mean, it is the internet. Data needs to go back and forth and actually be set up accordingly. So it's not going to be instant in most cases for this Google Analytics for properties or setup. Let me do this. While we wait for Google Analytics 4 data to go back and forth, let's go ahead into settings. Tap on the settings icon and tap on data settings. Data collection, get started, continue, activate, I acknowledge. Now remember, I'm not a lawyer or a legal advisor, but this is very clear. I acknowledge that I have the necessary privacy disclosures and rights for my end users for the collection and processing of their data, including the association of such data with the visitation information Google Analytics collects from my site and or app property. And how do you do that? One more time, it's been my personal experience that you take care of that right inside your privacy policy terms and conditions legal pages. So make sure you do that before doing this. And data retention, it's set to two months. Let's just set it for 14 months and tap on save. And now go back to reports, real time. Now you know how to set up Google Analytics 4 for your website with this Google Analytics 4 setup tutorial. Now, if this video has been of any use to you or you got anything out of it whatsoever, please make sure to tap thumbs up and hit the like button and share this with someone who might need it. Also, comment below. Let me know where you tuned in from. That's always nice to know. So let me know inside the comments section below. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to tap that subscribe button and the notifications bell next to it. That's that little bell sign, by the way, that's ringing because I'm making a commitment here and now to you, to creating weekly videos to show you how to make it your best year yet to helping you build your online business empire and beyond. My name is Henry, CEO at MyDigitalMarketingEmpire.com.